Hello and welcome everyone. First, let me start by saying that it's an honor to be able to speak to you today. It is also an honor to share the podium with one of my best friends, my classmate of 12 years, and my prom date, Chase Johnson, the salutatorian of the class of 2013. It is only with all of your inspiration and encouragement that we are here before you today as the graduating class of 2013. So thank you to all the faculty and staff, coaches, friends, and family for your unrelenting support through all of the shenanigans we have presented you with. And a special thank you to my parents. You stuck with me through all the late night study sessions, meltdowns, and procrastinated projects that come with high school. Um, without your midnight snacks, coloring skills, and patience with my perfectionist attitude, I never could have made it to where I am today. To the class of 2013, today we have arrived at the culmination of all that we have been working towards. It is the end of the countdown that has been ticking in our heads since, for some of us, the first time we stepped through the doors, and for most of us, more prominently, in these past few months. Now, with the turning page at our backs, we can reflect on our time at Harwood, the relationships, lessons, and memories that we will hold with us as we charge forward into the future, into the unknown. On February 20th, Ms. Atwood gave me the news that I was class valedictorian. Yes, I remember the exact date. Overwhelmed and in a slightly dazed state, I walked back towards class, and then it hit me. Wait a minute. This means I have to give a speech. Uh oh. This realization was followed by four months of denial and procrastination. When I faced the reality of writing this speech last week, I realized that for one, I was in no position to be giving advice to my peers that had just as much life experience as myself. And two, I had no idea where to start. How do I, one person, encompass the experiences and lessons learned of 156 different people? How do I communicate four years of memories that shaped the unique group of people that stand before you today? It was then that I decided I wanted this speech not to be mine, but to be our speech, my classes, something that we would all leave behind, an interwoven stream of our words that represent the journey through the halls of Harwood that we have taken together. So, in hopes of creating this mosaic of words, I sought out my classmates for quotes, lines, and memories from their experiences over the past four years. I compiled these responses in combination with my own to deliver to you a speech, or perhaps more like a poem, just as unique and diverse as our class. In our collective words, this is what the class of 2013 has to say. Quoting Dr. Seuss, congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. Dear past, thank you for all the lessons. We have learned that one must never wear socks with sandals in Miss McNichols' class, <laughs> to always make way for Mr. Kelly and his math cart in the hallway, to dodge crack come progress report time, We've learned, thanks to Mr. Johnson, that if homeless, there are many ways to survive just fine. Including, but not limited to, ordering a pizza right before closing and waiting by the dumpster for it after the employees realize you're never coming to pay for it. <laughs> they throw it out, and there it is for your enjoyment. And we've learned to take life lessons from leaving a basket. As Dar says, all that she's learned in life is from leaving a basket. One must be organized, stay on the straight and narrow, have diligence and dedication, and find beauty in everything you do. It's as good as you make it. Our class reflected on what we now know. We now know that procrastinators are the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> to appreciate the days when there's music playing in the cafeteria. To never expect a smooth ride in the parking lot, or a parking job. To never be surprised to see a man sporting a kilt. And that it's not about the courses you take, but the relationships you make along the way. 
As we say goodbye to Harwood, we will remember when we first arrived, naive but amazed by all the people and experiences that filled the Harwood halls. We remember it as a time when the lunch portions were bigger and there was dessert every day. We were so motivated that we almost won Spirit Week, fourth time to charm. Mr. Whalen and Mr. McLeod were indistinguishable. You ran to every class because four minutes seemed like a really short time and Harwood seemed like such a big place. And you didn't know how to use a combination lock and had to look it up on YouTube just to get the books out of your locker. <laughs> now we have had four years of becoming accustomed to those things that once seemed so daunting. And so we remember the lessons we have taken away as the class of 2013. To regret nothing, embrace the lessons you've learned from your mistakes. It's the job that never gets started that takes the longest to finish, and not all who wander are lost. We say, dear future, we are ready now. So stay classy, Harwood, fresh to death. put together a mighty nice speech, don't you think? <laughs> it is after hearing all of my peers' reflections and what they noted in their time at Harwood that I can truly reflect on how Harwood and my peers in turn affected me. With each quote that I collected, I was reminded of the individuality that is embodied by our class. As all who have experienced school mode, Julia, it is understood that with that mode comes a high level of anxiety over situations that I only later realize as being not so important. At some point or another, it seems that almost every member of my class has told me that I need to relax and not worry so much. It is now, looking back, that I realize the incredible support and encouragement that we have provided each other with as peers. Despite the vast array of personalities and interests that make up our class, we have grown together these past four years. We have become one cohesive unit whose drive stems from the passions and successes of one another. I have seen the field hockey team arrange themselves in pyramid formation to support the soccer team. <laughs> I have seen black and gold painted faces and shirtless kilt wearing young men in 40 degree weather out to support our sports teams. I have seen the entire auditorium filled with students giving a standing ovation celebrating the latest musical or play. I have seen dozens of bags of winter clothing and boxes of supplies for the food shelf donated by students in the spirit of giving back to our community. When I look around at my classmates, I see a group of people who are passionate and thoughtful. Harwood has fostered a sense of understanding and openness within us and the push we need to speak up for our beliefs and take action where we feel action is needed. Harwood has left us not only with the skills, but the drive to face the world with strength, vivacity, and an open mind. This world is waiting for us, class of 2013. It's our time to stand up and make our move. As Seuss concluded, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Thank you. I would now like to invite the class of 2013 to join me in the official transition from high school student to graduate in the turning of our tassels from left to right. <laughs> 